Hey guys, today we're talking about um, Power Drill. This is definitely my right hand man. I use this all the time. I don't think there's a single project that I've done that I haven't used a Power Drill. They're really nice for drilling holes, for driving screws. I'm in Austin even um, putting in bolts or undoing bolts. Um, it, it's just an all purpose tool that every homeowner should own. When you're using a power drill, it's really important to wear your safety glasses, um, especially because you don't want anything flying off, wood chips, even if the screw was to slip and fall out, you wouldn't want it to get your eye. That's pretty much it for safety gear. I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can drill a hole with it. Um, it's, if you do own a drill, it's really nice to have a set of drill bits um, in all different sizes. For drilling holes because you always want to choose the bit that's best for your project. When you're drilling through a piece of wood you always want the drill to be going in the forward direction. Um, that's the backwards direction. You want to be going forward so that the drill bit is actually turning clockwise. Um, that way it's going to go through the wood a little bit easier than if you had it backwards. You just put some downward pressure um, as you're drilling through. You always make sure you either have a piece of scrap wood or nothing underneath so that you're not drilling into something you don't want to drill into. For driving screws, there's two different directions. There's the um, forward direction. To change it, I just push this button and now it goes the opposite way to actually remove a screw. Um, to remove a bit, I'm just going to turn the chuck, and this is a keyless chuck to remove the bit. The nice thing too to have with your cordless drill is to um, have a set of bits too. The key to driving screws with the cordless um, power drill is to really put your body weight behind it and push into it as you're um, pushing the screw into the wood. Um, otherwise it's going to just make the bit spin in the screw. So I'm going to go ahead and line it up, and then I'm going to really put my weight into it. See, so you can kind of hear at the end it was starting to kind of spin in the screw. You don't want to let it keep spinning in the screw or it'll strip the head. That's basically all you have to do. It helps to go ahead and get the screw started through the wood before you actually um, attach it or piece. So that's what I'm just going to do. I'm just going to lightly hold the screw and let it kind of go into the wood. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull the wood together and screw it in. Last thing I want to show you is that I have this um, socket set that I bought for my drill. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tighten the chuck once I put it in there. And the nice thing about this is that I can remove bolts in a snap. That's much easier than doing it the old fashioned way. That's it. It's always good to have your second battery charged up so that when the one runs low, you can go ahead and snap the new one in. And you're ready to go.